Nothing is impossible when you put your hope in God. I'm standing here in the midst of a miracle in the making. I'm about to give you a tour of the future home of Encounter TV Studios, Round Rock, Texas. Now, many of you have been giving toward this project, so I thought now would be a great time to give you an update. Now, here's the challenge. You're gonna have to see through the eyes of faith because as I said, this is a construction zone, but I do want to give you an update so that you can see the process and you can see what's coming. Right now, I'm standing in this room, which is really the front entry. So when you come visit the studio, there will be a door right here. It's gonna be a glass door, I believe. And then this opens up into the lobby area, the entrance area, where you'll be welcomed with our beautiful Dove logo. Of course, everything we do here is done with excellence, the culture of heaven. And as we move through to the main area, you're gonna notice this big box that's in the way. Now, this is actually a temporary studio location because we need a place to film while construction is ongoing. So this is actually the place where we've been filming Word and Spirit. We've been live streaming Viral Revival. We've been creating much of the content right in there. It's a temporary studio location while we work to build out the main facility. So this right here will be wide open once this box is gone. So this box will be out of the way and it will just be filled with chairs and tables, a place for you to fellowship, rest and prepare before the service. Speaking of preparing for the service and the studio tapings that we'll be doing here, you can come in as a live studio audience. I believe they're telling me as of right now, and we're looking to increase this, we know that we will have at least a seating capacity for a couple hundred people live in studio. Now, here is where the coffee bar will be. And as I said, this is something that we're doing for you, the people who visit the studio, so you have refreshments, a place to sit, so you're not just waiting in line in the heat or in the cold before the taping begins so that we can really do a good job of hosting you, our supporters, our viewers, our friends, our partners. Moving through here now, we are going to be looking at part of the main entry as well. So this continues. Now this right here is actually gonna be a very special portion of the lobby area. We're looking to build a small version, a miniature revival history museum. Many of you know, that in phase two and three, we actually expand to include the Revival History Museum. For more information on that, you can check the website. But really, this is going to be the beta version, if you will. So the lobby will include some elements of revival history, pictures of God's generals, maybe some information about revival's past and so forth. And again, you can check the David Hernandez Ministries website for a little bit more information on that. Now. This right here will be the main control room. And again, look through the eyes of faith. This is where Mr. Timothy Lay and his crew will direct productions that are live and also direct productions that are not live. So there'll be computers and screens, and that actually is a window right there that looks out into the studio area. So you can see out, but you can't see in. So this way you don't see Tim and the crew in the background while we're taping. Again, there's that word taping. I don't know how many times I'm going to use that, but when I say taping, just know everything's digital. I just use tape because I've been programmed to use that word. Uh, this is the data center. This right here is the data center. This is going to be a room filled with hard drives and tech so that we can back up many of the files, in fact, all of the video files for all of the teachings that we release. We know that these days, censorship is a very real threat and it's very possible that ministries like ours become deplatformed in the future so what we've done is we've begun to back up every episode of word and spirit every episode of viral revival every video we put out every worship clip every highlight everything that you see is backed up onto a hard drive and onto the cloud and that's a lot of data that we use so this room will actually be filled just with many, many, many hard drives. And this room, of course, will be expanded in phase two and three. But just so that we have a place to put all of that content for now, we're going to be using this room as the data center. And of course, all of those videos will be housed here securely, safely on the hardware as well as on the cloud. Let's continue on to the other rooms. This right here will be the men's restroom. And this, of course, is something that's needed. You need restrooms wherever you have people gathered in public. Now, this room right here will actually be our shipping center. 
So if you've ever partnered with our ministry or ordered a product from our ministry, you know that everything comes packaged with excellence, really high quality. We actually oversee that in-house. All of the packaging is in-house. In fact, all of our clothing now is all made in-house. And so this will be the shipping center where partner gifts and books and clothing are all sent out. So this room is going to be filled with shipping material, product, and so forth. Right across the way is the women's restroom. And then coming down this hall, this is the back area. This is where employees of David Hernandez Ministries and Encounter TV are working. And this right here in front of me is the green room. The green room is the place where we host our guests. So like when I have friends on the program or friends on the live stream, I fly them in, we tape a few programs. They need a place too to prepare before they go on to the set. And that's the purpose of a green room. Just on the other side of the green room, we have the conference room. This is where we'll have staff meetings to make sure everything is operating in an orderly fashion, that everything's being done with efficiency. This right here is an office. And this right here is an open space concept office. Now, this open space office is going to be the heart of Encounter TV editing. Mr. Tim Lay and his team will work here all throughout the week to produce content. And you know, we produce a lot of content. So there will be desks and computers and all of our editors will be able to work from here. And just across the way in this other room, which is about the same size, we have another open concept office. And this is for administration, events, finance, and so forth. And actually because of the temporary wall here, you can't really see the full size of this open space office, but it's actually bigger than it looks. Again, there is a temporary wall there. So you know that our ministry has a saying, we spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit through events and media. Well, this is the room where they're gonna manage the events and the administration and the finance that it takes to do that. And this room that you just saw right in front of me here will be where they manage the media. So events and media, all the staff working together under one roof to promote synergy and efficiency and better communication. This really will be not just a tech center, not just a media center. This is gonna be a revival center. Just a couple of weeks ago, we invited partners and friends of the ministry to actually come onto the location of this construction site. And they walked through this building and began to lay hands on the building. They prayed with oil, they planted scriptures, they gave prophetic words. Why? Because we want this to be a place where we dig a well of the manifested presence of the Holy Spirit. We want this building to be saturated in the manifested power of the Holy Spirit. This is more than just a media center. This is more than just a ministry headquarters. This is more than just a studio. This is expansion for the kingdom of heaven. This is a piece of heaven on earth. We are claiming this territory for the name of Jesus. And as we claim this territory for the name of Jesus, we're using this location to touch the nations of the world in a more impactful way than ever before. This will exponentially increase our ministry reach. That's why we're doing what we do. And it's more than just numbers. Numbers represent people. People represent souls. So that's why we want to expand to bigger numbers than ever before. Now, right here is the entryway. When you come in person to the studio, after you've had your coffee, after you've relaxed for a little bit, you'll begin to line up here. And it's here that you begin to enter into the place where the nations of the world will be touched. From this location, the gospel will be preached. From this location, the power of God will be emitted over the signals, over the internet. The power and presence of the Holy Spirit will reach into homes, into schools, into dorms, into business places, through cell phones and computers and televisions. This will be the place where we record and touch the nations of the world. Now, for those of you who don't know, also just a few weeks ago, it's a lot of activity going on. 
there was a tornado that came through Round Rock. Many of you saw this on the news. That tornado actually touched this property. Now, miraculously, our half of the building was virtually undamaged. The other half of the building had the roof torn off. You see, we're working out a deal to where we're going to take over the entire property. But in the meantime, we just have the first half. And when that tornado hit, it did not touch this region. Why do I believe that happened? I believe God's hand of favor and protection is on this ministry. In fact, we had the contractor tell us that this was probably the most difficult job he's ever done. And he said it wasn't the materials, it wasn't the design, it wasn't the work that they had to do. He told us that the most difficult part was the fact that all of these things seem to be coming against the construction of this studio. And so we know that there is spiritual warfare taking place. The enemy does not want this place to be built. The enemy does not want this project to be completed, but that's too bad for the enemy because as I said earlier, nothing is impossible when you put your faith in God. We believe big. We're putting our faith in a big God who does exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or even imagine. Even as I stand here in this room, I'm reminded of a time when I began to broadcast out of my parents' garage. It was me, one camera, and three lights, and a tiny little space in a garage. And as I would broadcast from that tiny space in the garage, it was hot, it was crammed, it was relatively low tech. But in my heart, I knew that God was going to do something bigger. And every step of the way, God has met us. Think about the fact that we're expanding in a season of global recession. I talked to our CFO just a few days ago, and he gave me a report on the ministry. And he told me that miraculously, not only has the ministry not been affected by the recession, but it's actually grown in the midst of the recession. Now, why is that? Well, I believe that God rewards good stewardship. And when you put into practice the biblical laws of wisdom and faith and generosity, that invites the blessing of God. I can think of story after story of how God miraculously came through for this ministry in many seasons. You know, this isn't the first studio we've built. And each time we've built a studio, the ministry has expanded exponentially. And I look back and I can see the hand of God in this ministry. And I can see how he's been so faithful to his word. I think of the time that we were building a studio in Paramount, California, our first one. And we needed $14,000 in order to do it. And God sent someone who, by their own admission, didn't even like me to fund that project in full. I think of our TV studio in Lawndale, California. That was a six-figure miracle that we needed. Half of the money was raised by the support of generous viewers. And then when we reached the end of that support, God sent a man from Northern California to come and fund the rest. I think of the studio we most recently built in Cerritos, California. There again, we saw a good portion of the funds come in through online viewers such as yourself, and then God sends a woman to come and generously finish that project funding. And now here we are, almost finished with phase one of Project DTV, and we're calling on you, God's people, to by faith, get involved. God has been faithful every step of the way. What's waiting for you on the other side of your step of faith? I'll tell you, it's God-given destiny. And again, I can think back to growth spurt after growth spurt after growth spurt, and I'm here to stand as a testimony of God's faithfulness. Nothing is impossible when you put your faith in God. We need to stop living in fear. We need to stop worrying. I've discovered that so long as you're being a good steward and so long as you're practicing biblical generosity and so long as you're applying the wisdom of Scripture, that God will bring it to pass. This is a God-given vision. We're doing this for his namesake. We're doing this that souls might come to the cross. 
And so as you look around, as I said, you're looking at a miracle in the making. Now, this is where I need your help. I need your help to finish this project. I know that God will bring this to pass, but do you know how he does that? He does that through the generosity of his children. Jesus said that you cannot serve two masters. You can't serve both God and money or mammon. And then he says something very interesting. He says, this is why I tell you to not be afraid. In other words, the way that we worship mammon the way that we worship money is through worry. Every time you worry, every time you question if God is able, you're holding a worship service for mammon. You're putting your faith in mammon. I know this, you're generous. You, God's people, love the gospel. You love souls. And I truly know that your heart is to give, your heart is to support. But sometimes the enemy can get to us, can't he? And the only reason that sometimes believers hold back is because maybe they're a little afraid. Maybe they're wondering what's waiting for them on the other side of their step of faith. And so they hesitate. The lie that the enemy tells us, the enemy lies in this way. If you give to that ministry, if you send that support, then you're going to lack. If you are generous toward what God is doing, if you're generous toward that project, then there won't be enough. But that is a lie of the enemy. For Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously. And then all these things, what things? Those material things, those things he provides for you, they'll be added unto you. And so I challenge you, my friend, to stand with us in faith. We are stepping out big in faith. We are seeing growth, explosive growth in the middle of a recession. And I'm here to declare to you, I stand as a living testimony. God is faithful to his word and nothing is impossible. There's nothing to fear. The media is constantly pumping fear through the airwaves. They're speaking of economic collapse, the rise of inflation, the dwindling power of currency. All of that may or may not be true. I'm not an economist. I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their children begging for bread. I do know that even if what they're saying is true, and most of the times it isn't, but even if what they're saying is true, that God's going to take care of you. His eye is on the sparrow. Surely he watches over you. And it's with that knowledge, knowing that God will take care of us. That's what frees us. That's what liberates us to be generous. And so now we're just about across the finish line. It is just within our grasp. We are almost there. Help us finish phase one of Project ETV by going right now to davidhernandezministries.com slash expand. Your gift of any amount will make all the difference in the world and will help to bring this God-given vision to pass. Thank you, God bless you, and remember, nothing is impossible with God. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.